Faye's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of you. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I won't drop. Time goes by, and there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. It gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. Let's get back to business. One more crank to turn and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to nature again. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good. Crank it. She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand. Your homos forgot. Ma'am, 
It would be an honor if you might bless it for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? What the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! The fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters. Not its form. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. You know I can't let you take our little gal home without giving her. Look! We got volunteers! <laughs> Get out of here, too. Yep. Guess we're doing this one boy style. Now listen, uh, I appreciate what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Weren't his call to make. 
guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind all that. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on! Might have to get creative up ahead. There's eyeball nests all over. Get your throwing arm in here. bigger the more you take away. Ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No, that's bollocks now that I say it. Days <laughs> all right. Them eyeballs are taking over the realm. We better beat them out. <laughs> oh, <that's wrong. laughs> Who do you think you are, huh? You don't even know what's gonna happen! You! Yeah, hit me already! you or anything. You did not. Right. Uh, you can bring that back to Ratatosh group whenever you're ready. <laughs> ah, that's blocked. Got one last 
favor to ask a vote that we call a square. What happened down there in the forge with the lady? That's my story to tell, all right? Agreed. Well, for a period of time, perhaps. Mamiya. Oh, very well. These ugly fun. Maybe those Grim will take him down. Can I see how you'll be getting down from up here? Best I find my own way back. Been too auspicious a day to end it horking and borking.
Fay. Was she? Let me stop you right there, killer. Brock ain't one to go breaking no confidences. Not even when it comes to the dearly departed. You don't hear me spreading your business all over town, do you? Smiths don't blab. It's just how it's gotta be. Oh, is that the way down? And I'll get those gates working for you! I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. Where is everyone? Now a good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands. On your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours. He's everything I expected. So clever. Kind. You're sure he's yours? A kid. You really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what kind of god is that, Kratos? What do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. Superior bastard. That nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you. Good timing. Let's see what Brock made you. Steady your guard. Enemy behind you, Kratos. Oh! <laughs> 
So that's the weapon? A drop near spear? The drop near spear. Well, any given number of drop near spears, I suppose. <sighs> Come on, I found a gate. We just need to take the train down. I do worry, though, if I'm being frank. We've crafted a weapon to kill a god. One could say you're on the verge of returning to form. Does it scare you? Aiding another violent god? I'm scared for you, brother. That spear could start a war. THE war. If that no longer concerns you, then maybe Freya's right. Maybe the Giants had you in mind all along. <clears throat> So this drop near spear, you're prepared to use it? To protect Atreus. I am no one's champion but his, nor no one's god. That may be my form. It is not my nature. Do you understand? I guess a difference of opinion is hardly the most I'm setting aside for this alliance. As long as the plan is to kill Heimdall, the rest matters little. There's also the bit of news that Odin has some inkling of what we're up to. I thought I heard ravens. Damn it. What did he say? Lies, threats, and more lies. What did you expect? You think he lies that Atreus is in Asgard? No. On that, I'm afraid I believe him. Then the rest matters little. I saw a gateway near here, overlooking the bay. We can get to it with your spear, I think. This way. That gravestone. There's a keyhole that looks to fit the hilt you found. And if I'm right, you best prepare for a fight. Hey, big guy. Speak. Need you to get something for me. A hammer. A weapon. No. A forge hammer, little thing. Symbol of the old resistance. Guild, solidarity, all that. Or it used to be anyway, till the Aesir buried it under that big gaudy dwarf statue in the bay. Might do the dwarves some good to see it again. You're not worried that might draw the Ain Haryar's attention? The old father nearly slit my throat just to get to you. I might be past giving a shit what he thinks. Just find me at the bar when you've got it. You'll certainly be able to reach new areas in the bay with that spear. Aye. Might be worth looking for Darlin's hammer while we're at it. Your choice, of course. Now that you have a weapon to deal with Heimdall, we just need to find a way to get to him. Aye, if that's still the plan. It is. I will protect my son. So, then it seems the original plan to avoid Ragnarok has fallen a bit by the wayside. That is up to Odin. Yes, that's rather what concerns me. Listen, brother. Those things he said to you... His words are nothing. True, though I expect retaliation is no empty threat. We need to think through the ins and outs of it. You're getting ahead of yourself. Let's see if Sindri has had any luck. There he is! Hey! Come show off the spear! See what we done! Now do the thing! 
Oh, look at that. She's special, that one. Ain't gotta tell me. Have you found a way to reach Asgard? Um, not as such. Had a few ideas, but they didn't so much work. <sighs> Brother, without a way to Asgard, what are we doing? I do not know. I need to think. You are impossible! I'm the most possible one around! 